today I'm at Aston Martin of Orlando to show you guys and give you a review on something really special. I want to give a big thanks to Aston Martin of Orlando once again for allowing me to uh, spend some time with this amazing vehicle that I'm going to show you guys and of course it's right here. The Lucid Air Dream Edition. Oh my god, I can't believe what I've seen so far in this car. I want to give you guys sort of like a quick review on this vehicle and I'm, I'm going to show you guys different parts of the vehicle that are extremely impressive. This definitely brings the EV game to another level. So I want you guys to take a look, see what I'm talking about. Let's strap in and take a look. Let's take a look at the illumination when it locks. Pretty cool, no? We got some functional scoops over here. And I really love the chrome look that you see on the front hood. It's like a brushed aluminum, gives a sense of class. I love the badging over here as well, super nice. And something extremely nice as well is the way that they designed the headlights. It, they actually designed them into the body of the vehicle. Look how small the headlights are. They're tiny and you got multiple modules if you want to call it. And you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, including the turn signals, six different squares. So you see the headlights over here alongside with some I believe it's LiDAR or some type of radar over here. It's all really nice integrated into the body of the vehicle. You have a front camera over there. Some additional cooling here at the bottom which is vented. Another radar over here at the bottom as well. And then you got some functional air curtains over here that basically go around the vehicle as well. Very low coefficient of drag on this vehicle. And you guys will see when the car locks a nice little show as well. How cool is that? It's so futuristic. That's the key fob, no buttons. And it's just very thin. So you got 21 inch aero wheels. You can't see unless you get really close. These are all covered. So it's all for efficiency, but they look pretty nice. One thing that I noticed all around the vehicle is the fit and finish. Panel gaps on this, is on a completely different level than Tesla. This honestly just takes the cake in terms of fit and finish. I mean, the panel gaps over here, of course, it's a little bit smaller over here than it is over there. This, for example, the trim would have been completely misaligned on a Tesla Model S. And the shape in general from the side profile is very different, but also very aerodynamic. And that's also for efficiency purposes. Of course, you have flush door handles over here which are electronically operated the way that uh, these doors work they're soft closed doors but they're super fast soft closed look at this like as soon as you close it it just like soft closes by itself one awesome thing that i love is the badging for the lucid air dream edition it's very very unique of course you have a full glass roof it's full panoramic and when you're inside the super cool thing about it which was extremely impressive for me when i first came inside the vehicle was you have a massive windshield this this entire piece right here all this all this all this is a windshield it's super pleasant to be inside this vehicle i like the brushed aluminum with the side blinker integrated into the side view mirror look how cool the charge port door is on this super futuristic That is so cool. And then you got a little light over there as well. So very, very nice. You have a camera over here, which I believe can be used for facial recognition for the vehicle. You have all kinds of cameras around the vehicle as well. You have a camera here on the B, pill B pillar. You have a camera on the side view mirror over there as well here. You have another camera over here, camera in the front as well. Let's show you once again. You have a couple cameras over there, different types as well. This thing is stacked, super, super stacked. Look at the light show here. I just love how they integrated the third brake light here on the trunk lid 
it's just like integrated into the design itself from a luxury sedan perspective i think it's a great design because uh it keeps everything very smooth it keeps the lines very smooth all around the vehicle so starting off with the door cards as always you have leather here on the top with a bit of brushed aluminum you have alcantara in a sort of like a grayish alcantara and then you have this like i said this sort of fabric material super cool and then you have this open pore wood that is your trim and of course you have your window controls now this is an electronically controlled door release which sits over here and you basically pull that back to open the doors in terms of design they're pretty nice but in terms of comfort they're just absolutely incredible i mean i couldn't believe it when I was sitting on them and then I, I went into uh, all the features and the controls, you guys have like different kinds of massages that are truly massaging. And I like this little touch over here showing the Lucid branding right under the headrest. Overall, I mean, the, uh, the design and the interior space is extremely nice. I would take this any day over a Tesla Model S. So overall, the interior space here of the Lucid Air Dream Edition is impressive i mean it's it's on a different level in my opinion than than a tesla model s now i would probably say this sits at the same level of a mercedes-benz s-class for example you do have a very expansive screen over here that splits in two between the gauge cluster and an infotainment screen and then you have this little screen as well which is your additional infotainment screen which gives you the ability to tuck it away so this is super cool that is just next level and then after that you have all kinds of additional storage space very well thought out very well laid out as well and then you have some additional space over here with some wireless charging and then some cup holders additional storage and then some more storage as well very unconventional uh, you have like some massive spacing over here with these two dials that will allow you to control a lot of the different features on the gauge cluster very minimalist in terms of the button configuration which gives you some cruise control controls and then some other controls over here your voice control and then your toggles you have your gear lever and then i believe this is your turn signal and wiper stock now something else that is unconventional but i've seen in other vehicles like for example the porsche Taycan, is all your alternate controls like your headlights your rear and front defrosters your door unlock and lock and even your window lock sit in this additional screen the controls and the displays are extremely crisp very high quality very high resolution as well including both the infotainment over here and here look how high resolution the screen is i mean it really does take this thing on on a, on a different level of course, from a technological perspective, I'm sure that Tesla is up there. But the thing that Lucid has above Tesla, in my opinion, is the quality, the fit and finish, and the layout in general. I think it's much better laid out because you also have some physical buttons over here, which is a pleasant surprise because you do have your basic temperature controls your volume over here as well i mean ultimately i think that's a better layout than your typical tesla for example where nothing has a physical button you do have some shortcut for your gps your media and your phone controls as well you have a mix of materials that work actually pretty well all together the seats themselves are very nice very comfortable this is your windshield look how far back it goes incredible look at that and then you have a nice little LED light over here that gives it a, a better ambiance. If you guys are asking, these are just sort of little things that you can put to block some of the sun that comes with the vehicle. Finally, you have sort of an unconventional look of your sun visors. Pretty nice though. Pretty nice. So taking a look at the rear seating area, you guys can see that it's very spacious. No bump in the middle. I have the seat a little bit further back than my typical driving position. So this is actually further back than normal. So getting in, there's a little bit of a bump over here. So you always gotta be careful. I hit my head a couple times getting in. 
But once you're in, it's very, very spacious for your head. You have about at least five inches of space between my knee and the back of the seat. And something else that I noticed as well that's really nice is the material of the seat here in the back. You have a mix of leather and this sort of like fabric that I was talking to you guys about. You have some additional pockets. And then you have some controls that include heated seats. You have climate and you have your sunshade and then you can also control your seats as well. You have heated seats on the middle seat that you don't get to see pretty often. So it actually is a true, if you want to call it, five seater because you do have additional controls for the middle seat and the rear. You have additional cubby over here. Very, very convenient. And right here, you have some USB-C plugs over there. But generally a very pleasant area to be in. You have some speakers over there. Grab handle, open airy feeling as well with the panoramic sun. So from a headspace perspective, I have about an inch and a half of space between the glass area and my head. So it's still very, very comfortable over here. And then you have the middle armrest if you want to take it down with a couple of cup holders additional storage space as well we have a pass through over there as well so far i'm a big fan of the lucid air dream edition the trunk area here for the lucid air is absolutely incredible you have this clamshell style cover for the trunk it's very unconventional but very useful as well because it allows you to have a massive loading area i'll show you guys the volume numbers right now on the screen but you have so much additional space as well like for example here on the side you have this as well which allows you to put more stuff here on, on a deep level and then you also have this other area over here as well that gives you a cigarette style charging port you also have your tow hook and like i showed you guys before you have your pass through over there so you have your releases for your pass throughs on your seats and that's how it looks like with one of the seats actually put down so it gives you a tremendous amount of space and convenience. So here we have the front trunk. These are functional air vents for additional aerodynamics, which allows for air to cut pass through under over there. And it goes over the hood as well. So even the front over here is quite spacious. This hood is automatically opened with hydraulics. So you can open it automatically and you don't actually have to lift it or anything. So it does automatic just like the trunk does as well. I'll show you guys the volume numbers for the front end. You have this. Look how much deeper this goes. This is really next level, man. The Lucid Air Dream Edition performance packs a crazy punch of power. Now, of course, everybody knows about its crazy numbers. For example, the 1,111 horsepower alongside with its 1,025 pounds per foot of torque. Yes, those numbers are a little bit higher than the Tesla Model S Plaid, but aside from that, you wanna also think about some of the other things that Lucid revolutionized in the EV segment. They actually came out with batteries that actually are smaller and perform better than those of other vehicles like the Tesla Model S and the Porsche Taycan they were able to basically get more power and range out of a smaller powertrain and battery pack itself. The battery pack actually takes a little bit less space alongside with the powertrain itself as well. So lots of crazy numbers. The range, estimated range for the Lucid Air Performance uh, Dream Edition is about 451 miles and that's with the 21 inch wheels that come on this vehicle well, let me give you guys uh, some quick driving impressions on the lucid air so i've only had a little bit of time to spend with it the sound effects that come out of the electric powertrain they're actually not bad in terms of acceleration it's incredible i did actually try it on sprint mode it was extremely fast it's it pinned me to to my seat the other thing also is the handling on this and the way that it feels when you're driving, it feels like a solid vehicle. The only downside I would have to say when driving the car is the steering wheel itself makes a sort of like, I guess you could say like a bit of a cheap noise. Listen. But that's the only downside I would say about the Lucid Air Dream Edition. Everything else feels extremely well put together. 
the car is very solid on the road I can't give you guys any sort of feedback on the brake feel because I literally have not used the brakes it's all been regenerative braking in terms of steering feel of course it's it's fully electric so you you don't get much feel but it does feel quite good when driving you do get a bit of feedback ultimately it does feel quite good I would definitely prefer this drive feel over the drive feel of a Tesla it feels much more luxurious I get a better sensation of driving the vehicle when being in the in the lucid as opposed to the Tesla Model S now it does have a lot a lot of safety features if I'm changing lanes for example and there's somebody in my blind spot then it'll actually flash red on the blind spot camera that shows on my gauge cluster it also this allows me from changing lanes sometimes if there's somebody there I mean it really feels like a very well put together vehicle I would confidently say that this car is on the same level as Mercedes-Benz when it comes to luxury I think it's a great driving vehicle for the short period of time that I drove it acceleration of course it's an EV with a very powerful powertrain so acceleration is ballistic to say the least I would take this over a Tesla Model S any day in terms of luxury feel in terms of solid feel and in terms of suspension it's very well calibrated it feels not too stiff not too soft it's not as soft let's say as a Lexus and it's not as stiff let's say as a, as a sports car it's it's very well calibrated and it feels great to, to drive frankly so guys i hope you enjoyed this quick review of the lucid air dream edition i want to give a big thanks once again to aston martin of orlando for giving me the opportunity to take some time with this amazing vehicle that not a lot of people actually have had the chance to even take a look at from close up and you know i gotta give you guys uh my final thoughts on this vehicle it's absolutely incredible i was blown away i was not expecting this much from the cv but seriously they really uh did a phenomenal job they blew it out of the park technology wise fit and finish you get to see now how some of these newer manufacturers are, are doing so i mean really really phenomenal stuff Guys, don't forget, Aston Martin of Orlando has this vehicle right now for sale. I'll put a link in the description below. Once again, I'll put a link for their website. I don't know how long it's going to be available for because I was very impressed, like I said before. As always, thank you very much for all your support, guys. Please don't forget to comment, share like subscribe and please let me know what you guys want to see it'll give me more ideas of what i can actually produce for you guys i'll see you guys on the next one cheers